Hello, this is Vaughn, and uh, we've got something quite magical here that has just been added to Blender. It is Rather Fire, and it's called Modeling Cloth by Mr. Um, Rich Colburn. So this is a crazy, crazy add-on that he just, you know, did on his own. Well, didn't tell anybody. He, he was just, you know... Um, making videos about Python that I was I was looking at and just nonchalantly mentioned this cloth add-on and I was like I asked in the comments what what the hell is that can we can we play with it and he just posted the link to his github here so just um, if you go to this link I'll post this in the video too but you guys need to check this out especially if you're into cloth stuff but this is running real time here um, I don't know what what else to say. This is crazy, insane. He uh, <coughs> what? And then he he doesn't tell anybody. It's just there. He's had this for months, and and now we're just um, yeah. This is cr this is awesome. Like we can uh, get little pins here and move our cloth around, and it's running like like butter. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. So there, there's a lot of really cool features built into this already, um, which he goes over in his video. I'm just, I just want to show like a quick uh, demo and review of it, um, hopefully to get more people to, to at least be aware of it and use it. Um, so let's see. I'll, I'll. Uh, run through the setup here so first of all you got to install the thing so go to the, this um, github slash the 3d advantage slash modeling dash cloth and then um, clone or download that and then when you got the zip you to install an add-on you you can just go into your um, go into your blender folder and then go in there scripts, add-ons, and just, you can just paste it in here. And um, I've got mine right here, modeling cloth master. So just drag that folder into here. And then when you open up Blender, you'll be able to um, go into file, user preferences, add-ons, and just search modeling cloth and then check that on. So once you got that checked on, you're in this little uh, you can just make a plane or some something let's yeah let's just make a plane subdivide it a couple times press W and then subdivide and then uh, we can go and pick an edge loop so I'm just holding alt and clicking here to grab an edge loop then we go to um, click on this modeling cloth button which is found on the left hand side here you press T to bring up this tab and then hit play and then go down here so yeah turn on modeling cloth hit play and then make gravity down to like negative one you can turn this up a couple and uh, also since we have these edges selected we can pin this edge to make it um, stick there and then if I switch to object mode uh, with the uh, control space down that's it it's already working but um, it's kind of saggy it's kind of droopy here so I'm gonna go back to edit mode turn on floor go back to object mode and now we are stuck onto the floor Come move, drag this around um, there is an inter iterations option here, which kind of makes it a little bit less floopy. So this is more accurate with more in, uh, iterations. It'll be a little bit slower, but that's okay. You can make it smooth if you go to tools and then s smooth shading. Oh, you got to select the thing first and then go smooth shading. Uh, you can 
add subdivision on this to make it look smoother. And now it's going to start chugging probably, but still, I mean, that's close to real time and that looks pretty complicated. We could draw the blinds like this, go like that. This is so crazy. Um, what else? He's also got this cool thing where you can get a, let's add shift A to add a uh, icosphere. Bring this up. Or actually shift A, let's add a monkey or Suzanne. And let's um, bring Suzanne up over the, the origin by just switching to edit mode. And uh, oops. Okay, and then let's do the same thing. Where were we? Uh, modeling cloth, and where was it? There's some kind of a spring. Let's see if I go to add virtual springs here. That should add the springs, and then. We bring the gravity down a little bit, negative one, and make sure the floor is turned on. Let's hit play. So now it's falling to the floor, and it's going to boink, crazy, and bounce a little bit. Maybe it needs to be a little bit stronger. These springs. I'm not sure how to control the springs. I think we have to be in edit mode. Actually, let me let me do that again, but with the sphere. I think it was better with the ICO sphere. Okay, let's see. Let's put the floor on, turn on modeling cloth, turn on play, add virtual springs, and then gravity down, and then object mode. Oof, crazy. Um, you see that? It's like rolling away. You can inflate it. I guess that doesn't really work with the spring, but let me see. What if we go way high up? Yeah. Interesting. I don't know. This is pretty weird. Um, we could also, let's see, go back, remove the springs. Turn off gravity. We could have more inflation here. Subdivide this. Whoa. Reset. Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing, but you guys should definitely check out this, this add-on and check out um, uh, Rich's uh, GitHub and also his YouTube. He's got this video here that shows you all the little details here. So this is more of just a like little public service announcement to uh, go check this thing out. All right, bye.